Balls, one, two, three, go! Let's go! What was Shane Lewis from Dallas? Hey, how's it going? Is this on? It doesn't sound like it is. It's not a joke, it was a genuine question. Was, he's having a good time, he's been cheering. You look quite cool as well. Nice, compliment the audience straight away. That's quite a good introduction. Good style, man, he likes it. I've started to uh, walk around with big dick energy. <laughs> oh. This is it. <laughs> Bit more about me, I'm six foot three, which is very tall, and also very untrue. It's not true at all. I'm really about five, ten and a half, which is a respect. Five, ten and a half is a good height. Five, ten and a half is it's a good height, right? Well, it would be respectable if I was actually five ten and a half. <laughs> I'm really about five nine, and I refuse to go any lower. It's not <laughs> happening. I'm not going to go any lower, not today. But my name is uh, Luis Marchevier Fuguet Subirana Gonzalez Sanz. <laughs> Traditional Scottish name. <laughs> no. Sorry, sir. No, it's not happening. I don't repeat jokes. Um, Apparently, I don't know. I'll do it again. All right. Luis Marc Xavier Fuguet Subirana Gonzalez Sanz. You got that one? Oh, yeah? She's Scottish too? Nice. Okay, nice. Well, I'm going to carry on with this. Um, wait, what did he What did he say? All right. We'll carry on, sir. Uh, but Luis is a low pressure name, right? I was going to be called Jesus, which roughly translates to God, the Almighty Chosen One. <laughs> And that would have been way too much fucking pressure on me, right? <laughs> because there aren't any stories in the Bible where our Lord and Savior was furloughed for three months, right? <laughs> but it could have been worse, though. I could have been called Guy. <laughs> which is, is the shittest name on the planet, right? <laughs> we all agree. Just imagine being a parent and wasting that one opportunity <laughs> to name your son something cool like Vladimir or, <laughs> or Boris. <laughs> Big fan, big fan. Fuck but Boris. you, all right then, fuck Boris. I agree, that actually is a better punchline, so we'll stick with that. We'll fuck Boris. <laughs> we'll carry on. Uh, but yeah, my name is spelled L L U I S with two L's in it, which is not a mistake. It's actually Catalan from the region of Catalonia in Spain. My parents are from Barcelona. And just before I was born, they decided to swap Barcelona, move to a little place called Coventry. <laughs> And for those who aren't familiar with that, that's the name of the place and the joke itself. <laughs> it's not all bad in commentary. It's the home of two historically iconic women. The first woman I'm talking about is Lady Godiva, right? Who famously, she rode through the streets of commentary naked on a horse to protest the heavy tax, which is an amazing thing to do for the people of Coventry. Oh, the other woman from Coventry is the lady who threw the cat in the wheelie bin. <laughs> A few years ago. <laughs> During that video went viral. <laughs> She's one of our finest. <laughs> There's actually one more lady from Coventry who's quite famous. I didn't know how to mention her. But um, Sean Paul's nan. <laughs> Found out recently. I had to mention it. I think her name's Shauna Paula. <laughs> sure. Silly joke. That is a silly joke. Um, but at home, I grew, up speaking, uh, I grew up speaking Catalan and a little bit of Spanish, right? And the Spanish, they're the best at getting away with using like stronger words or insults, and they do this by making them a diminutive. This isn't a language lesson, just stick with this. Hopefully, it'll be funny at the end, right? <laughs> and at home, we grew up speaking, we, we would add Spanish endings at the end of English words all the time, and it was a way of softening the blow. So, for example, an asshole is an obnoxious, quite an unlikable person, right? But an asholito, <laughs> not as bad. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> to me, an asholito reminds me of one of those cute little pink fluffy things you find at the end of a pencil sometimes. <laughs> you find them in gift shops. Sorry? I'm going to carry on with this. We'll talk later, though. Is that all right? I do watch sports. We'll, we'll have a conversation later. Oh, really? Well, I'm going to keep doing this, all right? Asolito. You sound like an asolito, too, sir. <laughs> in the nice way. Uh, another example, 
Adolf Hitler, of course, I don't need to go into detail what that guy has done over the years, right? Not good. But Adolfito Hitlerito? <laughs> it's not as bad. Adolfito, that was my great granddad's name. And he was all right. He had some strong views on immigration. <laughs> and other people's cultures. He was a decent painter. We let him off. All right, nice. Um, so yeah, my dad's a big fan of films. He loves films. But he has a tendency to almost get their names right. His favorite film is Nine Years a Slave. <laughs> that's not him having a go or anything. That's just the way he remembers it. To him, Apocalypse Now is... Apocalypse is here. <laughs> and it is happening. Okay? I'm, it's allow I'm allowed to say that my dad is actually Spanish. So that's fine. Um, so uh, I'm in a modern relationship. My girlfriend's bi. And I don't want to be left out, which is why I'm also bi the corner of the room whenever she's with her new friends. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. Terrible deal. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm sick of being patronized by the iPhone weather app. Because they give you the temperature, and then a bit further down, the feels like. <laughs> Surely the feels like part is the most important part. If it's 10 degrees outside, but it feels like it's seven, <laughs> just tell me it's seven. <laughs> I can deal with that information. I'm six foot three. I'm not scared of that. <laughs> I, also, I also recently found out about the measuring app on the iPhone. I know most guys, we had the same thought when we came across it, right? You know, measuring the old. I shouldn't have communicated with you because it can get you so. I should have, that's my own fault. That's on me. That's fucking on me. That kind of impeded the flow a little bit, actually, now. It was going to be a, a nice little dick joke, actually, yeah. <laughs> but instead I spoke to one. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'll leave it there. That's all I've got. Cheers. Thanks, Gonzalez, ladies and gentlemen.